Hello once again ladies and gents of YouTube, this is Chino and welcome back to Chino Gaming. Well today we're going to be talking about my monk build and uh, the build I use for farming torment in preparation of Reaper of Souls. We're going to be talking a little bit about that and uh, the changes that have been made to the monk and the new Paragon system and how that works with my build. And uh, we're going to be comparing a little bit to the old days of Diablo 3 and uh, how farming was then and how things have changed right now. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump in. So the new Paragon system. If you haven't watched my last video on the changes since patch 2.0.1, then uh, feel free to jump back and have a look at some more information about how that's changed. But um, I'm sure most of you are aware right now that the new Paragon system will give you points per the Paragon level and uh, your Paragon level is shared between all your characters and those points can give you stats depending on where you put them. Um, you can also reset those stats anytime you want like that and uh, you can pop them in anywhere you want afterwards. So w what is my build? Well back when you think about the old Diablo days, uh, well Diablo 3 I mean not the old Diablo 1 and 2, when Diablo 3 first came out um, you know it was quite quite a feat to be farming Inferno. It took a long time to get the gear you know, the gear that dropped was very RNG, so it was basically farming for gold, using that gold to go to the auction house and find a decent piece of gear that's sort of set up. And because the difficulty on the elites um, was really up there, um, the damage was high, and uh, their mitigation was high, and the HP pools were huge, and people were just getting one shot all the time, it took a lot of time to actually have your character ready to rumble uh, in terms of getting into Inferno is concerned. So the main stat, when you look at all these stats, the main stat was all about this resist all. And I think when I first started tanking, and you probably look back on a couple of videos I had there about a year ago or so, um, I was running about 1300 resist all. <laughs> and um, it was insane to have to do that. And because I was constantly looking for gear that had resist all, and also had my cold resistance, which also upped my resist all based on my build, um, then, you know, I was losing out on a lot of damage. Um, but thankfully, they did change it, which made it a little more accessible to people. And considering the RNG on gear, you know, terrible stats that would always drop on gear that dropped, um, you know, it, I think it was, it was fair that they did that. And uh, it, it enabled people to really concentrate on damage a lot more. And that's exactly what I've done. A lot of my gears changed since back then, and my sort of, um, I guess, the thing I'm looking for most has completely changed. I've lost a very large portion of my resistances, but um, the, the way my synergy works is quite tanky, and, um, you know, it really works for farming torment. So what have I got? At the moment, everything's concentrated around the attacks per second, and you just saw me put my points in attack speed. Um, so I've got an extra 2% attack speed per, um, per point, I've put 10 points in there. That's uh, extra 0.2 attack speed per point, I should say. Put 10 points in there and that's 2% attack speed. Um, now, if you look back at my attack speed, my attack speed here is 2.32 att attacks per second. So every second I'm hitting 2.32 times on average. And um, out of those, I've got a 38% crit chance. So it gives me you know, more than two swings a second at a 38% crit chance. And if I do happen to crit, I am getting 380% critical damage bonus. So that's pumping out a decent amount of damage. If you look at my damage, it's not incredibly high. There's a lot of characters out there who are pumping over 200,000 damage very easily, especially wizards and um, demon hunters. But, um, you know, my build's not just around damage. My build is mostly around survivability and the synergy that um, it provides. So what else does the attack speed give me in synergy? Well, if you look down at my life, um, I've got life per hit 1400. And again, you look at the Paragon and I think it's in utility. Um, I've added nine points into life on hit. I'm not, you know, the largest in Paragon levels. I'm only 39. I didn't play that much through Diablo 3 until the patch came out. I started playing it again. But um, that gives me an extra 148.6 life on hit. Um, so in my statistics, you'll see my life per hit as 1,415. They did a reworking of the stats for lifesteal, and they've, they've just really taken it down at level 60. So you kind of, I don't think that's because of the introduction of the utility life on hit that's there. Um, so I've really concentrated on the life per hit. 
Um, so I'm getting, I'm getting life per second, I'm getting life on hit, and I'm hitting quite often. So I'm getting a fair bit of healing back in terms of that, but I've also got life per spirit spent at 136. Now that might not seem like a lot, but there's also, uh, where is it? should be here. Um, spirit per hit, it should be. Uh, I thought it would be in resources, but um, I'm getting a whole heap of resources back per hit, and uh, that's, that's my spirit. I should say, and uh, the spirit per spent, I am getting right here, 136 life per spirit spent. So let's look at this. Wave of light is 75 spirit. 75 times 136, that's the healing I would get just for using that. And uh, as I'm hitting, I'm just getting a lot of spirit back anyway. So I can use that quite often, every few seconds actually. That, that's my main damaging spell. And uh, a lot of the rest are pretty much a sort of defensive build. Um, but why, why does this synergize so well? Well, you know, I'm, I'm spending spirit quite often, but I'm gaining spirit quite often. I'm hitting really often, and um, I, when I do hit, I'm getting life back, and I've got a high critical chance and a high critical damage, and all in all, it actually encounters for some pretty decent damage. My dexterity is, you know, up there, it's at a decent number, and, um, you know, that gives me a decent amount of damage on top of that. So that, that sort of synergy works really, really well. For skills, as far as they're concerned, my Fist of Thunder is really great for a fast spirit regeneration. Um, so if, if you look at this, um, I'm using Thunderclap as a rune, and it says you teleport to your target and attack it with a series of rapid punches. And they are quite rapid. And if you have a look while I do it, so that's just boom, 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 boom. You see the third one is actually an explosion, and that's an AOE hit. So it also knocks back enemies, um, and if you go back in there, it says release an electric shockwave with every punch and cause knockback on every third hit. So this shockwave is kind of an AOE type, but on that third hit, it knocks back an, in an AOE way everyone sort of in a cone area in front of you. Um, this, this is great because it's, it slows your enemies down, it interrupts skills, and um, it really gives you that ability to, um, to stay alive a lot longer. Um, the fact that it teleports, I think, is also a really great thing. I think they've reduced the teleport in the recent patch, but it's still quite, quite great. So it, it prevents you from having to um, really use those, I guess, advancing abilities like teleport, for example, or leap that other classes have. Um, and you can just sort of consistently attack which is important in this particular build because you, again, you're consistently attacking, you're gaining spirit, you're gaining life, and then you're spending spirit, which is also gaining life, which is also doing more damage, and you can kind of see the circle that it goes in and, and the way it synergizes as well. So that's my build, um, and like I said before, I've you know reduced my resistances so I can have this type of build, but it works extremely well. This is more than enough um, resist all I have found. I've still kind of um, could use a little bit more if I come across it, but at the same time, I'm, I'm healing so much that it's not mattering as much. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and if you do like this video, please subscribe because I will be consistently posting videos, hopefully one a day for Diablo 3 since the patch got released, and of course Reaper of Souls when it does come out. Um, now, stay tuned right now. I will be showing you some gameplay video of this build so you can see how it goes in Torment. All right, guys, take it easy. See you later.
Scenery. 